Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this logo on Facebook and want to know how to draw it. It traces pretty good, but you're never going to get it sharp in this attack as what it needs to be. I don't know what that font is. You might have to try to find that font. Um, it looks pretty common. This is not a font. If it was a font, we're going to do it two different ways. Take your um, two-point curve line and go from that node down to that node and then just fill that in and uh, you know what? Let's change our nudge factor to like seven inches. Let's nudge that up. I just used, I didn't name my number a lot. <sighs> Come on. Nudge that up. Well, what is going on? Let's go back. There we go. Nudge that up. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Nudge that up. Now you can see there's a little bit of an offset between the two, so you could set your nudge factor on like 0.5. Grab the top one and nudge it up a little bit. The other one is actually offset a little bit. Let's go 0.1 on our nudge. And then you can move this over. And that's pretty close to the logo, except for the look. But we need to change the color, so then you can get your color eyedropper tool, take a sample, put it there. Go back to the pick tool, get your color eyedropper sample again, and get that gray. And you've got that logo. But if you can't find that font, you need to be able to make this. This is pretty easy. I like, if you will trace your item, you can make it transparent. So it's a vector, it's still not sharp, but you can get the transparency tool and make it less visible so your lines are gonna show up better. Now we're gonna get a two point line. We're gonna go and start moving and then hold down the control button and that makes it level, makes it even. Go up. Now I'm gonna grab the three point curve line and as long as you grab on that node, you can make that curve. Now I can finish it with the three point curve line just by double clicking. And you can see how I can see my lines better. Now we got that item. Let's change our nudge factor back to seven inches. Let's take the logo and nudge it out of the way. There's our trace version. I actually don't have it completely sealed up right here. I missed the mark. And I, of course I would bring the logo back, but I'm just gonna bring that down. Still not there. Yeah, I am. Let's see if it'll smart feel. Just check that corner real quick. I always draw a rectangle around just in case it doesn't feel. If it leaks, and it does, so we're good. So we can, now this, is the exact logo as the other, top and bottom. So we're gonna just hit the plus sign key and mirror it both directions. Now, if we set our nudge factor on like 0 0.0 or 0 0.1, we can move this guy, and I can see it's a little bit offset of the others. It's pretty close, then just get your Color eyedropper tool, take a sample of the red, put it in there. That way your logo is the same as the other one. That's pretty close and it's sharp as a tack. Now on the bottom part, that should be a logo you can find or you can actually do the what we did before. I don't think it traced very good at all, but you could maybe use it Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.